Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title today, we're gonna be hanging out and playing with a bunch of new makeup. I have a really good mixture of just a bunch of ingredients, whether it's for the face, for the lips, for the eyes, really a lot of products. So yeah, I just wanna do a chill video, hang out with you guys, try out some new makeup, and let you guys know if it's worth your money or not. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. So you know the drill, uh, most of these are new products, some are new to me, and this is very interesting because I found some products from Wet n Wild at my grocery store that I had never seen, and I just looked up on the website and I cannot find not one thing, not even just on the Wet n Wild website, but I cannot find one thing about these products. I don't know if they were just put on the shelves before they got launched. I have no idea, but I feel like I have an exclusive because, like, have you guys ever seen these products from Wet n Wild? And today we're going to start out with this very mysterious primer. So this is called the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid. Hopefully, by the time this video comes up, it is on a website because I want to like link it for you guys. So it says it smooths, it conditions, it refines pores, it balances, and it prolongs makeup. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this is like liquid. Shake well, apply evenly to face, and allow one minute to set before applying makeup. And that's all we know, so. Okay. Oh, okay. It is liquidy, but it does have a little bit of substance to it. Definitely feels like an essence or like a very, very watery serum. Doesn't have a smell or anything like that. I guess it says to let it dry for one minute. So again, it's supposed to smooth, condition, refine pores, balance. I don't know what it's supposed to balance and prolong makeup. So I guess I'll just let this sit here for a minute and I'll be right back and we can see how it feels. It feels nice, not sticky, but not greasy either, just like it just feels hydrated. My skin is not like super glowy or anything like that. This is like definitely not like dewy or anything. Did it smooth the pores? Maybe a little bit. Not like, it didn't like fill in the pores. This is definitely like very subtle. I do almost see like a film over my skin. You guys probably won't be able to see that on camera, but I see it on the skin. So I guess now it just really comes down to how it wears under makeup and if I even notice a difference. Um, so far, it feels fine. It looks pretty. Let's see if I feel any type of difference. Uh, I am gonna wear a foundation that I already know that I love for the, for the sake of the video because of this primer. So I'm gonna quickly pop on my Rare Beauty foundation in the shade 280N and I'll be right back. Actually, I won't be right back because I wanna try a brush with you guys. Um, I always use the same like brushes to blend out my foundation, but ever since I received the Laura Lee Los Angeles new like brush sets, I've been wanting to try a stippling brush that comes with it that she actually describes as a way to like almost like sheer out your foundation. This Rare Beauty foundation is really nice, but sometimes it can look just the tiniest bit heavy. So I'm gonna try this Laura Lee L32 and see if that makes like any difference. And remember guys, we're matching the neck. Uh, so far this is actually blending out pretty quickly. I'm not used to the feel of like a stippling brush. It's blending out very quickly and you know what? I definitely see how it's like shearing it out because something about it, it's making it like a lot thinner, but it's still spreading it out all over my face very quickly. This actually does look really pretty. It really did shear it out. So if you don't wanna shear out your foundation, do not use a stippling brush, but if you just want to look a little bit more natural throughout the day, uh, this looks extremely natural and lightweight. That primer and this foundation and that sibling brush, like, it just looks extremely natural. Nothing too dewy, nothing matte, just very natural. I'm actually really liking how it's all going on together. If you guys missed my video on the new e.l.f. launches, I did um, actually review a bunch of their new products, including their Luminous Putty Bronzer. So I figured since it is brand new, why not put these in this video? This shade is called Sun Chaser, and I just wanted to show it to you guys again if you haven't seen that video. Um, these are really, really nice. They are just as nice as all their like other like putty blush and bronzers except they are luminous and look as you guys can see they're extremely buildable you can go in with a light hand 
or you can build them like I'm doing right now. And they just give the most gorgeous glow. Even after you set your face, the glow peeks through. I like that they're luminous without being glittery or like greasy. They're like that perfect in between. This actually looks really beautiful on top of cream as well as on top of powder. And so I really have been loving these. So I figured why not put them in this video. I do want to try out a powder though. Oh, I just realized I have two powders to try out. I have one from Wet n Wild and one from Milani. I'm not going anywhere today. So maybe we could do one on each side because like, why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and use my go-to, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and I'll be right back, and we can test out both of these drugstore powders. Again, I cannot find anything about this powder, but it's essentially the same thing. So here is what it looks like. So it's the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer and Finishing Powder. Um, the only thing I don't understand is that it says primer and finishing powder, but on the back, there are like no directions. So I'm just going to use it as a finishing powder, not a primer. I don't know if it's a primer infused, but again, it says smooths conditions, refined pores, balances, and it's good for pre and post makeup. So I don't really understand what that means. This is what it looks like. I'm guessing it's, ooh, that feels, oh, that feels so good. But like, please, for the love of God, don't give me flashback. Um, that feels extremely smooth though. It doesn't feel drying. So hopefully that's not the case. I'm going to go... A little bit of light hand because you do pick up quite a bit of product and just press and I'm also going to set my eyelids first impression that doesn't feel drying under my eyes like I don't even really feel powder under my eyes so that's definitely like a really nice feeling usually I can like feel it right away it doesn't look dry under the eyes and Right off the bat, it looks really pretty. Um, let's see, I guess we'll just set the rest of the this side of the face with this powder. Now that I think about it, I think you're not supposed to use a finishing powder to set your under eyes. I think you're supposed to put it on after, after setting your under eyes. I don't know, you guys let me know. Is it like the most blurring, the most like flawless powder? No, but it's like doing a really good job without feeling dry and it actually looks fairly natural. So. I definitely want to see how this wears throughout the day, but so far, pretty good first impressions. I do want to see if it does have flashbacks, so I will test it out for you guys. Let's test out the other powder, and then we can just compare, but so far, I'm actually very impressed with this. Okay, so I don't know how new this is, but I did get it in PR from Milani, so I just wanted to try it out because I've never tried it. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. So I do have the shade 01 Translucent, and it's just supposed to be a blurring powder, so I'm very excited to try this out. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god. Okay, I know a lot of people hate these nets, and like, I do too, but I do like that there's a stopper because, man, like, loose setting powders just get so crazy. I will say, for a translucent powder, it's looking a little bit dark. Oh wow, it definitely is blurring. It doesn't look that light in person. I feel like on camera it's looking very light. I'm worried about flashback with this as well. I will have to test it out. So right off the bat, this one is definitely a little bit more drying, but not too bad to be honest. Like I feel, oh my gosh, this is gonna give flashback you guys. My skin does not look that white in person, but with my lights, with the camera, it does. Um, we're gonna have to test that out because I'm looking crazy. It's more blurring than the Essence one, but it's definitely more drying. My under eyes are looking just a little bit crepey. So weird because it doesn't look like that in person. If anything, the Wet n Wild side actually looks brighter in person. So, um, you know, this might be good for pictures or it might be your worst nightmare. So we will definitely test the flash at the end of the video. Right now, I am really liking the Essence Powder. Um, I think maybe this would be good to like clean up like your nose contour or maybe your cheek contour. So far, this side of my face is just looking so much better and less dry and more natural. Moving on, um, I do have a new blush from Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna quickly add some powder bronzer. I'll add the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer and then we can test out this blush. So for blush, this is an interesting one, also from Wet n Wild. It's called the Wet n Wild Zero F's Given. Okay. So I think the reason why this is called the Zero F's Given is because I believe this whole like collection is actually, um, I believe it has CBD in it. It does have the packaging of like some of their products, and this is what it looks like. 
has a nice little flower on it and oh my gosh it feels wow it feels like almost like a cream product so i'm gonna go in with this very fluffy brush from morphe and we're just gonna apply it Ooh, that's a very very beautiful shade um, it's definitely a way different formula than their regular blushes. I do love their regular blushes, but something about this is just like a little bit more creamy and it is giving me a little bit of glow. Something about the formula is really grabbing on to like my cheeks very nicely. I'm gonna look a little clowny. You guys already know. I do like it. You know, it is a different formula. Um, you do have to kind of work it in a little bit more, but as you guys can see, it definitely... <laughs> it definitely built up and I'm looking crazy with my little Milani powder side So I'm gonna add a little bit of blush under my eyes to try to Blend this on but I actually think this is actually really pretty. I like the shade and I think it looks very pretty on the face I know I know I'm looking crazy. Why don't we use this wet n wild powder to Kind of cut it off a little bit because I did bring it down way too much. We're gonna look a little crazy for a couple minutes but that's okay. And then I do have a new highlighter palette actually, which is very affordable as well. So I'm excited to try this. You guys know I don't really use a lot of highlight, but I'm gonna do it for you guys today. So this is the Pop Beauty Prismatic Pop Palette in the shade Better Bear. Um, it actually has some stunning shades here. I kind of wanted to also use the darkest shade as a little bit of like a bronzer topper. We do have a little bit of everything. We have the darker one, a champagne, a rose gold, and a frosty. So that's kind of nice. Again, I'm gonna do just the lightest amount of um, this darker one over my bronzer. Just to add some glow, I used to always do this and add like kind of like a bronzer topper over my bronzer. I haven't done that in a while. I look like a burnt chicken nugget again. You gotta love it. Okay, and then uh, why don't we grab this shade right here, this one, and do a little bit of highlight just for you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, these are very pigmented. I'm going in with the lightest hand, but I have to say this actually looks very pretty. Oh my God, when was the last time you guys saw me with highlight? This palette's gonna last forever because I'm going in with the lightest hand. I'm gonna grab the same one on my finger right there, whoop. And then maybe we'll use it as well as an inner corner highlight, maybe this like very frosty one, but that's actually really pretty. I look like a clown, so I'm gonna grab my one size uh, foundation powder. It's like kind of like my skin tone. And I'm just gonna kind of buff everything because I feel uncomfortable. You know, when you're just trying like a bunch of different products, things tend to sometimes go south. I do like my makeup and so far I am liking everything I'm trying. Really the only thing that kind of shocked me a little bit was that uh, Milani powder. I don't have a new brow product or eyeshadow, but um, I will do a quick look with this new palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles because it is a new palette. I've obviously already talked about it, but why not keep it like in the new family? I'm not gonna even gonna lie to you guys. I rushed the crap out of this eye look because uh, I'm about to run out of battery. So sorry if it was a little sloppy, but I actually think it looks really pretty. And I don't have any fake lashes on. I just have mascara and I'm liking the grunge vibe. So really quickly, let's add the little highlighter in the middle. I think we're gonna go ahead and use this like rose goldy one just cause it kind of goes with like the red that we have going on. I'm not gonna wet it just to see how potent, ooh, very, very pretty, very nice. And I kind of want to add a little bit of Mr. Frosty over here just to make it pop even more, oh, gorgeous. So yeah, this actually is really nice. If you're into very blinding highlights, um, 
this is awesome and I think it has a really, really nice shade range that will work for a lot of people. I guess we really only have three products left, so let's go ahead and set the face really quickly. I decided to buy this. I don't know why. I see a lot of people talk about it. This is the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold misting spray it is a matte finishing spray with aloe and vitamin e i bought it because everybody and their mother says that this is like one of the best I, is this the right one hopefully what the heck oh my gosh why is it stuck <laughs> what's going on wait am i supposed to like ah <sighs> okay Ooh, okay. Cool, cool spray. Doesn't smell too strong or anything, and it looks very pretty on the face right now. So far, so good. I'll keep you guys updated on that. The last products that I have are actually for the lips. So I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the Moira lip liners. Um, I've never tried anything from Moira. First, I have the shade Terracotta. So this to me is like such a good shade. So that's Terracotta. And then I also picked up the shade Caramel Beige. This one's more cool toned. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Okay. Love that color. This kind of is reminding me of the NYX ones. Yeah, it's like a really nice, uh, like it's creamy, but it's stiff enough because sometimes too creamy just kind of goes everywhere. I love this, love this. Thank you to whoever said that these lip liners are really nice because they are. I'm obsessed, okay. Big thumbs up to these lip liners, uh, again from Moira. This is called Terracotta. It is not a terracotta shade, but it is like a beautiful, like brownie mauve shade. I'm obsessed. So let's finish off this video with this. Again, never seen it. Something happened at my HEB where they just put Wet n Wild stuff, but it is a brand new Wet n Wild lip product. So this is called the Lock and Shine Lip Color and Gloss. I got the shade Affogato Dreams. I love a good Affogato. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a long lasting product or if this is supposed to be like just a gloss. So I'm guessing you apply the color first. So let's apply it on. Ooh, this is dark. Damn, we're going vampy today. All right. Yeah, this is definitely giving me like the NYX vibes that have that really long wearing like liquid lipstick that is going to be really hard to take off and then the little gloss on top. So I'm just going to let it dry. Ooh, it's made in Mexico. Ay -ay -ay. It is drying. I really wish I would have picked up a nude. Oh, oh, I do not like this brush. It is way too long. Okay. And now let's see if it's transfer proof. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, this is, ex they, you know what they did? It's starting to be a lot like the uh, NYX one. So that's very, very interesting. Okay, so this is the final look. I wanted to tell you guys that I did do a flash test and I was correct. One side of my face looks uh, crazy. This is the Milani side. Do we see that white under eye? So please be careful with this Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. Um, Mm, I think out of all the products that I tried out today, this is probably the one that I didn't like. I will say it is very blurring, but um, it did dry out my eye. It makes it look dark in person, but it gives flashback on pictures. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I'm sorry, Milani. I did not like this. I did actually enjoy the Wet n Wild one though. So overall, I do like all the products that I tried out today. Again, this is kind of like the NYX one. There is a little bit of... Um, of transfer, but I think this is giving the same vibe. Ooh, I already have things getting stuck on it. It's given the same vibe uh, for more of an affordable price, but who knows if it's actually that long wearing because again, it is transferring a little bit. But overall, I am very impressed with most of the things that I tried. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, playing with makeup, and um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.